So there was a, a hate crime bill that was proposed that allows individuals to report people for hate speech in advance of their having committed offense. The bill says, and I quote, a person may, with the attorney general's consent, lay an information before a provincial court judge if the person fears on reasonable grounds that another person will commit an offense motivated, motivated by bias, prejudice, or hate based on race, national, or ethnic origin, language, color, religion, sex, age, mental or physical disability, sexual orientation, gender identity or expression, or any other similar factor. So if a woman or a group of women are planning a feminist rally, it could be reported in advance of having it happen as hate crime, should this bill pass. Uh, there was a hate symbol bill that amends our criminal code to outlaw, quote, everyone who willfully or recklessly promotes or incites hatred or violence against any identifiable group by publicly displaying, selling, or offering for sale a symbol, emblem, flag, or uniform that identifies or associated with a person or organization that promotes or incites or has promoted or incited hatred or violence against an identifiable group. These bills are usually couched um, in racism and in terms of there being Nazis and KKK and Confederate flags, I think are included. Yeah, these uh, the Confederate flags are included, but it also specifies that the groups that could be targeted on protected characteristics include gender identity or expression. So should someone decide that the suffrage flag is a symbol of hate, that could be outlawed and we could face time in prison. I mean, this is obviously, hopefully hyperbolic, but who really knows? There were people who spoke out against Bill C-16, including Hilla Kerner from Vancouver Rape Relief and Megan Murphy, uh, Gad Saad, spoke out about it. Uh, Jordan Peterson spoke out about it. They, their concern was that Bill C-16 was going to allow men into women's spaces, and it has, uh, that it will be compelled, that Jordan Peterson's point was that it was going to compel speech, which it basically has. Um, it's just, it's exhausting. So the reason why I am speaking today in 2020, we, uh, my, I and some friends started away. It was started to support women who needed it. And we raised money for charity. We donated almost 100 handmade female-centered care packages that had food, hygiene kits, including soap and menstrual supplies and the like. Uh, we donated more than 60 pounds of clothing to a shelter for distribution to their clients. We participated in rallies supporting free expression as is protected under the Canadian Charter. And we protested men in women's prisons. In August of 2021, on August 19th, a government-funded nonprofit organization that was founded in 2018 published a piece that defamed me and other women who fight for those charter-protected sex-based rights of women and girls. This group is called the Canadian Anti-Hate Network, or CON. According to their website, CON counters, monitors, and exposes hate, promoting movements, groups, and individuals in Canada using every reasonable, legal, and ethical tool at our disposal. What they really do is write piece after piece maligning Canadian feminists as TERFs, transphobes, racists, Islamophobes, for criticizing the restrictions placed on Muslim women by men. Uh, we are accused of being right wing or far right. We are accused of being members of hate groups. I personally have been referred to as um, deliberately cruel, hateful, and someone who mocks, bullies, and denigrates the existence of trans women, and someone who is working to ensure public spaces don't include transgender people. This is obviously false. They implied that I was a racist, that I was an ableist and a eugenicist uh, via proximity to the statues of the famous five during the protest in June and accuse all of us of co-opting feminism. On their Twitter account, Khan frequently share and retweet things that whimsically disparage women as TERFs, which we all know is a gendered slur, 
and absurdly claim that feminists deny the existence of trans persons. So we do not. The reason why they are related to um, the Canadian government silencing feminists is that in 2020, Khan received $268,400 from the Canadian government's anti-racism action plan, action program. And that program is uh, stated to be in order to fund 85 anti-racism projects that aim to remove systemic barriers faced by racialized communities, religious minorities, and indigenous peoples. Khan also received a significant donation that was potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars from the Bank of Montreal to support social and racial justice and inclusion. So instead of fighting racism, they used this donated and government provided money to go after individual women and our work to protect and uphold the charter-based sex protected, charter protected sex-based rights of women and girls, defaming us as hateful and anti-trans. 